Good morning, good morning, guys. Welcome to the Marketplace Daily Devotion. Today is May the 11th, Tuesday. Amen, amen. We made it through Monday, guys. We made it through Monday. And uh, today is the day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad. I have an awesome topic today, amen, on today's devotion, and I pray to God that it blesses you uh, as it has blessed me as I read, uh, as I have read it. Uh, it's talking about, amen, you got to go through the process. You know, many times, uh, dear hearts, I, I, I realize that uh, most people, amen, do not want to go through the process of life. They just want to, you know, they don't want to skip through. They want to slide through. They want to, <laughs> they want to avoid. They want to go around. But many do not want to go through the process. And we got to uh, go through the process. So today's devotion is, is talking about a step in the process. You know, you may you may find yourself not being able to take but one step at a time, but as long as it's in the right direction and as long as it's in and going through the process, amen, it's still good. Hallelujah. And so today's devotion is going to be coming from Psalms, the, um, the 94th chapter and the uh, 12th verse. So as you know, we always do the verse before and the verse after uh, the, 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 the three verses there. But um, today I'm going to be reading it in the Message Bible because it makes it a little bit plain and it just talks directly to you. And so Psalms, the 94th chapter and the 12th verse, starting at the 11th, our key verses to 12, it says, God, uh, God knows all right. God knows all right. Knows your stupidity. <laughs> he sees your shallowness. He knows, okay? He knows. And then the key verse says, blessed, how blessed the man that you train, God. How blessed is the man that you train? Uh, and, and I would like to say, how blessed is the one that allows God to train them? Or, or it says, the woman that you instruct in your world, how in your word, how blessed are they? How blessed is the man that you train? This is the message, the way the message talk. And how blessed is the woman that you instruct in your word? 13th verse, providing a circle of quiet within the clamor of evil. God is the only one that can give us, amen, peace in the midst of uh, de destruction, in the midst of, uh, of, uh, of, you know, chaos. He's the only one that can give us peace in the midst of a storm. And so here he's saying, blessed is that man, blessed is that woman, providing a circle of quietness within the clamor of evil while a jail is being built for the wicked. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The wicked isn't going to get, you know, it, they're not going to get away. It may seem like they're getting by for the moment, but they're not going to get away. And in, and, and in this world where every time, you know, you turn on the news, I, I, I was just uh, actually, uh, my husband, I think, was listening to it last night. I just overheard it because I've gotten to the point where I really don't even want to listen anymore. But I think I overheard uh, one of the newscasters say, you know, in the last 72 hours, 400 people have been shot or killed. You know, there's just so much hate and evil out there. You know, it takes, it takes the Holy Spirit. It takes the hand of God on your life to just keep your mind in a place of peace nowadays. And a lot of times, you know, a lot of times the way people try to get that peace is to tune out uh, things. But what happens when it comes right to your doorfront? What happens? You need the spirit of God, amen, to keep you, to keep your mind. And so here it's saying, blessed is that man. He provides a circle of quietness. That tells me, hallelujah, that God encloses you. Ah, my circle, Shabbat. He encloses you with his peace. He put a garment of praise on you when, when people that you know think you should be going crazy because they're like, how, how can she handle this? How, you know, this happened, that happened. And how are they so calm about it? It's because the Lord has encircled you with a, a, a quiet, a circle of quietness and a circle of peace. And that is what we need. Amen. That is what we need. 
And so if you're that person today that, that feel like you're in the midst of a storm, whether it be on your job, uh, or whether it be, you know, in your home, if you're that person today listening to me and you feel like, you know, you're just going through all kind of chaos, it seems like no matter what, when you get up, uh, it, like the enemy knocks you down again or, or, you know, no matter how hard you try, you take one step forward and then you, the enemy, you know, it seems like he knocks you back two, two more feet. If you're that person, I pray this morning for a, a, a spirit of peace to come over you. I pray for the garment of praise. I pray for the spirit of laughter to come over you. Amen. Peace that passes, that surpasses all understanding. You don't even know why, God. Why, why aren't I falling apart? Because Lady Trice says, pray for a spirit of peace to enclose you. Amen. Amen. So I'm going to get y'all with a short story really quick. It's talking about a step and the right in, in, in the process, a step in the process. Amen. Ah, so a little story, a short story says a child developed muscles through exercise. And I just want to say a child, but even we as grownups, you know, uh, you know, we develop, you know, and we, we develop our muscles, you know, because there are grownups whose muscles aren't developed. Uh, so, you know, you develop your muscles through exercise. Only when our muscles encounter resistance do they become stronger. In the same way, the Bible tells us that we, become, we only become stronger spiritually through exercise. Through using our spiritual muscles to meet the challenges of life. We have to use our spiritual muscles. We have to use our faith. We have to, you know, uh, use our love. You know, sometimes it's hard to love those who mistreat you. But you got you got to, you got to do that. So you can be blessed. So you can grow in that area. Sometimes it's hard to trust God when you, you know, you can't trust past what you can see. But you got to learn to step out. Step out. Take small steps. And watch God. It says we we develop we become stronger uh, spiritually through exercise using uh, using our spiritual muscles to meet the challenges of life. This is especially true when we face suffering and affliction, for they are one way God makes us strong. One reason God allows suffering to come to His people, the Bible says, is to discipline, chasten, and mold us. So if you're going through some type of affliction or, or some type of challenge, amen, ask God, God, what is the lesson that I'm to learn in this? You know, what is the lesson, Lord? Reveal to me, show me so that I can be strong and I can be healed. In the last essay he wrote before he died, the great Christian writer, C.S. Lewis, and some of us, we've heard of C.S. Lewis, he said, we have no right to happiness, only an obligation to do our duty. Let me read that again. This is something C.S. Lewis wrote. He said, we have no right to happiness, only an obligation to do our duty. Sometimes our God-given duty will include suffering. When it does, ask God to teach you through it. Amen. I think that's what I just said. When we go through Things, Amen. We need to ask God. God, what what is what what is, what is, what is it that I'm needing to see in this? What is it, Amen, that you're needing to reveal to me so that I can do my duty, you know, and do it with a a grateful heart. Do it with a you know. And I know that's easier said than done. You know, I, I've been in pain uh, to the point where you know <laughs> it was sometimes more than than you can bear, and sometimes it's hard. Amen. But God gives us grace. He gives us grace to handle and to go through what's difficult. He does. He really does. He really does. And so if you're that one that's not feeling well or you're going through challenges, whether it be in your family, whether it be in your health, whether it be on your job, ask God, God revealed to me the lesson, the lesson that you are wanting to teach me through this. Remember the psalmist's word I quoted above. Blessed is the man whom you instruct, O Lord. Blessed is the man whom you instruct, O Lord. 
Amen. So this is our daily devotion today. It's talking about, amen, a step in the process, going through the process. Amen. It's never easy, but it is necessary. Let me say that again. If you're going to grow, amen, we got to go through the process. And it is never easy, but it is necessary. The process. Never easy but necessary, okay? And so, people, uh, the thought that I want to leave with you today, my dear hearts, it says, people most picture of their, uh, of their breakfast, people most, uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> people post, <laughs> I didn't think that sounds right, people post pictures of their breakfasts, their new home, or a good parking spot on social media and call it blessed. <laughs> yeah, you see that all the time, don't you? Sometimes I get so tired of looking at people's food on, on Facebook, always posting pictures of their food. Hallelujah. Yeah, I know. My, I'm, uh, my, I guess I'm guilty of that, and my son is guilty of that because he has a food truck, so he's always posting pictures. But I'm just talking about, but he does it in a way of advertising because that is his business. But I'm talking about, you know, just posting your dinner, what you cook today, and things of that nature. <laughs> It says people post pictures of their breakfast, new uh, their new home, or a good parking spot on social media and call it blessed. If we were instructed by God, how many of us would consider ourselves blessed? If we were truly instructed by God, how many of us would consider ourselves blessed? Think about that. <laughs> If we were truly instructed by God, because, you know, sometimes, you know, God will, God will move on you to give away that home, <laughs> give away that car to somebody less fortunate. Mm. We don't hear God when he speaks to us to do those things. How most of us, we don't hear God when he speaks to us to, you know, bless that person, you know, send them an offering, send them, you know, uh, we, 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 uh, we, we always, you know, we ask uh, many times, you know, uh, to uh, to give, to help the ministry, because we really, in this ministry, really give. We really uh, try to, you know, reach out to others. Uh, I know we just sent uh, some funds over to the Philippines for uh, a, a, um, a church that we help oversee over there that, amen, had a typhoon and they lost lost their, their building. Uh, and then the land that they had, the, the, uh, the state came by, or if you can call it the state in the Philippines, but the government, I should say, came by and, and took the land. And so they had to look elsewhere. And this is a ministry that we help that feed over 300 children over there. And, um, and, and they were trying to put the building back. We sent them some funds to do that. And then, you know, they're getting ready for the rainy season and they were trying to get the roof and windows up so that at least they can secure a man, uh, the building so far that they built. And, uh, you know, we reach, we say, you know, donate, you know, sin, you know, and, and I know that God has moved on people's heart, but how many obey? Very, very few, very few. So, you know, could we really count ourselves blessed if we were really obeying the voice of the Lord to do what God has called us to do? Amen. This is Lady Trice with Kingdom Discipleship Builders. Our, our cash up is dollar sign. Amen. K-D-B-M-I. You know, if you've been that one that has been, you know, uh, not obeying God, not not uh, being uh, obedient to the, his voice because you say, oh, they don't need it or, you know, they're, they're OK. You know, they, you need to obey God because we definitely need it and we definitely sow uh, into the kingdom of God. This is good soil, good ground. And so, you know, I, I just felt led. I don't know why to, to say that. You know, I don't normally do that on our daily devotions. But how many of us would truly count ourselves blessed if we were really obeying the voice of the Lord because of the things that he would tell us to do? Amen. So, you know, I just wanted to leave that thought with you. We got to go through the process, dear hearts. And today is Tuesday, May the 11th. Thank you so much for tuning in to our daily devotion. I pray that today be the best day of the rest of your life. Uh, so don't forget to subscribe, to share, and to like. Amen. On the YouTube channel, which is the prayer channel with Odessa Trice. And until tomorrow, which is Wednesday, hump day. Ah, have a blessed day today. Mwah, smooches.